Hello guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. Uh, this is Robin with uh, AKA Cayman Spider. Um, I just wanted to do a video on um, the steering wheel controls. Uh, there was a batch of them that came out here in the last few months that intermittently the steering wheel controls uh, worked and then sometimes they did not work. So um, basically uh, they came up with a fix. Uh, they did uh, come up with a new uh, CAN bus um, and also um, there's an update. So uh, what we're going to do, I'm going to show you how to do the update and if um, you have no steering wheel controls uh, then uh, you could try this update. If not, um, get a hold of one of these new CAN buses. Uh, but this is the easiest way. So the first thing you want to do is pull down to the top of the screen, make sure you're connected to um, Wi-Fi. Um, so you'll see that um, you can go into settings over here, uh, go to, uh, let's see, go to general, oh not general, let's see, more, and then this gets you into your, um, your Android settings. So you'll see that I am connected to Wi-Fi. Okay, and let's see, I am connected to a 5G, so we'll go back here. Okay, let's go back to home. I'm going to close everything out. <clears throat> okay, so one thing, if when you open your door on your vehicle, um, you'll um, get a um, little screen that pops up here and, and shows, shows which doors open. Now, um, on your wiring harness um, here's the CAN bus and then uh, you'll see a green and white wire and that when that's plugged in that's what that's controls the CAN bus that's your CAN bus wire in the back there so and I'm gonna link another video that's even more detailed that's from Sky Auto Vision that goes over um, this in super detail but I'm gonna kinda do it kind of a quick video on how to do it. So it's, it's very simple. So the first thing, step one, is make sure you're connected to Wi-Fi. Okay. Um, and then you go over to settings. Okay. Now, some of the newer versions of the um, the 2.1s, they, they, they kind of redid this, made it a little, you'll, you'll see um, it'll say factory on here. And that's where you want to go. You want to go to factory. Now, on the older I guess not older, but the the first version of the 2.1s. Um, you go to general, and then you scroll down to extra settings. Now, um, like say on the newer ones, you'll just have a factory on the side there. You go to that, and it'll take you directly. It just eliminates some steps. So, uh, what you want to do is you want to put in um, one, two, three, four, five six and hit OK. So this gets you inside of the extra settings. Um, so um, what you do is go down to let's see Okay, so you go to Model Choose, and then uh, don't worry about this over here. So what you want to look for is um, you want to go to uh, find number 14, L-U-Z-H-E-N-G, Lusing, touch that. Okay, and then Cars, you want to find Fiat because you know Fiat owns Maserati. So you go to Fiat, and then you choose Maserati, and then Public. Okay, so it's going to give you a Network Update Protocol APK successful. So you want to hit OK, and then I'm not going to do it on this one here. Um, 
because it's going to, um, it's already loaded correctly on here. So, uh, but I'm going to have a link where it details out everything, but it's basically, you just follow the steps and you'll be able to, um, um, download it. It's, it's just an update. So, um, Well, I guess we I guess we go ahead and do this one, just so it we'll make sure it's um. So you hit OK. It's going to install a protocol related APK. doesn't take very long to do this it's going to reboot Okay, now you'll see it says the system configuration file has changed and some of them will take effect after restarting the machine. So there's two ways to do this, actually three ways, but um, uh, the first way is is simply just shut off your um, car and then start it back up again and uh, let it reboot. Now one thing you need to do if if you have this enabled the um, sp um, fast boot um, you will want to hit not sleeping and then shut off your car and then turn it on and it'll reboot and then you go back in and hit your fast boot again so that's one way um, the the second way is um, is to uh, take a pen and reset it uh, but this is the easiest way all, all you do you just make sure it's not sleeping turn it off start it back up and it'll do it that way. So what I'm going to do is, since I'm on the bench, um, I can unplug it. So we'll unplug it, and then I'll simply power it back on. So this is basically me shutting the car off and turning it back on, of course, with it not sleeping. But So we'll make sure it's gone. Okay, there it is. Um, so the update should be complete now. Um, I, like I say, I'm going to link another video to a, a little more detailed. This is the fast way, uh, kind of. Uh, so if this does not get your steering wheel controls working, or you open your doors and there's no, it doesn't have a little box that shows up here, uh, then uh, and this is for the AU car guys. Um, contact me, and I will. Uh, have them send you a new CAN box, or excuse me, a CAN bus box. Um, very easy to switch out. Um, unfortunately, it, it takes you know about a week, week and a half to get it, um, but that will um, solve that problem. Um, but like I say, hopefully the um, the update does it for you, um, and uh, we'll kind of go from there. So if you have any questions, you could shoot me an email at caymanspider at gmail.com. Um, or you can message me um, on this uh, on YouTube and I'll try and get back to you. I try and check messages as much as I can. All right. Thanks so much.